Well, it's another one that I, I kind of wanted to know about as well. So we're entering a new era and um, I didn't notice any electric vehicles on your list of cars that you own. What do you think of electrification? I, I I think it's the future, and I think the, the next car I own has got to be electric. I um I'm 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 actually it's funny because I'm having conversations literally now with with builders about some changes to my garage to put in an EV charger among a bunch of other stuff. Um, it's definitely the future. I I love a lot of things about electric cars. Um, I think that the the recent crop of electric cars has proven to car enthusiasts who were skeptical for a while that electric cars can be fun and enjoyable and exciting. And I think there was a there was a concern when the Nissan Leaf and the Chevy Volt were the only electric cars, and it was like, you know, is our future just going to be boring hatchbacks that kind of look weird? And the answer is no. Like actually, they're now supercars that are electric, and Teslas, of course, as you know, and and all that. Um, it's a it's I, I think that the, the the there is a fun future of electric cars. For well, I'll tell you, um, I have a Rivian, and um, but I don't have Rivian stock. I have to tell you, I don't know why it is. I got to say this shit. All that. But anyway, um, I don't have a Rivian car. We don't, you know, get tips or whatever from. But I will tell you flat. Uh, I've been driving off road since I was 13. I've had Jeeps and pff, nothing, nothing can compare nothing. with it, with uh, with driving that car off road. That car is <sighs> unbelievable. Yeah. Well, right unbelievable and some of the stuff that you worry about when you're off-roading like snapping an axle like that's my biggest thing is like snapping some serious comp like a lot of that stuff that car just doesn't you it's just a simple it thing it doesn't exactly have i'm telling you flat um i took that thing over logs we we took it out to uh what's the name of that place oh uh, okay some some place anyways but anyways they have a cement mountain and they have like a literal uh, they just put concrete over the top of a hill and uh, logs, I don't know, four or five feet in diameter. And man, I couldn't believe that car. I couldn't believe I've never had anything like it. And none of the guys, Eric standing right here. <laughs> that, do you think I could get those guys to get in a car with me? <laughs> Not a chance. I went down the, uh, the three wheel uh, or sorry, the, uh, the little quad uh, track. Okay. So I had to go down sideways because one tire had to be st stuck on this on this bank, and then the other tire could be on the actual track. <clears throat> that thing handled so well. I couldn't, and I had a riot. Uh, my wife looked. No, it's amazing. It's amazing. I, I agree. I, I, it's unbelievable. And, and so there's this fear of like, oh, will electric cars be fun? I mean, that car helps to answer it. And the fun, the crazy thing about that car is you get off the uh, off road track. And then you can line up next to a 911. Yeah, and blow it away. You know, and, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't that just makes you feel so wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Right. Like how could we possibly, it does, it literally does everything in a way that we, nothing yeah. can, yeah. or we were told that yeah. nothing could, you know, that you, you have to compromise here if you're yeah. going to excel here. Well, maybe yeah. you don't. That car I like can do constant it all. Let's just see if <laughs> yeah. 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 So what do you think of the, uh, uh, the cyber truck coming down, uh, down the pike? I mean, we'll see. I, I've, you know, Tesla's great advantage for years was that they were the first mover on a lot of these cars and the Cybertruck, they're certainly not. And so it's a little bit disappointing how that rolled out, I think. You know, we have Rivian out, we have the Hummer EV out, the Lightning is obviously already out. Um, Cybertruck, I still, it's how many years away is it still? You know, I, well, they're I claiming know. that it's going to be in September. And I'm hoping so because that's car, that is the car that I, I like. Uh, you know, you were talking about maybe uh, in 15 years you're going to, you know, retire and uh, and fix cars or something like that. Let me give you a tip. <laughs> I thought about that about 40 years ago. It didn't quite work out for me. So hopefully uh, you'll do better. But but uh, I I used to like to go hunting a lot. And to me, the, the, uh, uh, the cyber truck is absolutely the brilliant, the, the best opportunity for me to have exactly what I'd like if I went into the woods. And uh, so I'm hoping uh, we we bought those cars early. But I mean, uh, we bought five, I think, or something like that, or put a deposit on five. Hopefully, um, I can get one in and at least get one hunt out of uh, out of the thing. 
But for me, these cars are slightly different. So I think the Rivian is a great off-road vehicle. I think that um, I don't think there's anything that could get in its path. And I also think that it's a it's a daily drive. It is a daily drive for us. And so that combination doesn't happen very often. And if you ask my wife, she'll tell you flat. When I had the Rubicon, especially the one with a soft top, um, she hated it. She didn't like the noise. She wasn't uh, wasn't interested in the ride. It was a bouncy ride and went on. The Rivian, you put that thing on comfort mode and jack her up or whatever. The thing is, just it's just a brilliant ride. And then the Cybertruck, I think, is like I say, if you're a sportsman, this is going to be the this is going to be the truck for you. And the and the Lightning. Uh, it doesn't have anything like the other guys. That Lightning is the best work truck on the planet ever. I don't know if you ever heard, but uh, they saved that Lightning saved our ass. Uh, we had uh, we had this great big uh, conference slash workshop for one of our international customers. People flew in from China and Britain, Germany, uh, China, everywhere, right? And they all come in. And <laughs> there's no power in Auburn Hills. Somebody, some big storm or whatever, knocked over whatever, uh, uh, knocked out a substation, and we got no power. And we drove the lightning in, plugged it in, and we're in business. Show me how I could, I mean, th right there, that thing paid for itself. I mean, it was off for three days. There's no power on these guys are going to sit around and and uh, and twiddle. Us. That would not happen. And what are we going to do? Where are we going to take it? Well, I mean, we've got their stuff was big. Uh, we're not going to take that and put it in their hotel room and say, oh, well, we'll do the analysis here. That That's not going to happen. Now, I'm telling you, the Lightning, beyond, without a question of a doubt, is the best workshop that's ever been designed, ever. Um, yeah. yeah, no, it's really impressive. So, you mentioned the Hummer, so what uh, <laughs> what was that to, do that to do that? What uh, what do you think of the Hummer? <clears throat> Have you had one? It's amazing, I think do it's you? so cool. Wow, <laughs> I think it's. I would never own one. I mean, it's absurd. Like it's 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 for a certain type of person, which I am ah. not. But I think it's cool as hell. Like it's a convertible. It's fast. It looks ridiculous. It can do a lot of stuff. Like I I think like objectively, it's a pretty cool truck. Um, if you feel like you can pull it off, <laughs> like, like you're, if you feel like your persona can handle, I, I, I'm not a Hummer EV guy, but I love them. I think they're such a ridiculously. Well, cool there you truck. go. Hey, this is your opportunity. You've got the convertible and you can, and you can ditch and you can ditch the, uh, the, 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 the defender. I mean, Oh God, I would give anything. I would give anything to switch out the defender for a Hummer EV, but then you got to be a Hummer EV driver. And I, you just look at those things on the road. You ever see those things on the road? I see them here and there, and I'm like, no thanks. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Well, you could. What? Who was it that? Uh, who was it that they used to drive those things around? Um. Oh, Arnold, yeah, Arnold Schwarzenegger, the governor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, he. I mean, you're tall. That's half the battle right there. I can't do it. <laughs> 